Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have Chance's cousin Sunny here with me and she is a photographer and we are gonna be taking family pictures today. So she's gonna give us all of the photographer tips, I guess you would say. So she's gonna give you tons of tips to make taking family photos a lot easier and stress-free because I know there have been several times that we've taken pictures in the past as a family and walked away thinking, oh my gosh, that was so stressful. So she's going to give you all the tips. I'm going to let her introduce herself to you really quick. Hi, I'm Sunny Lee of Sunny Lee Photography. Um, I've been doing this for about 15 years now. So along the way, I've kind of learned some tips and some tricks to make family photos way less stressful for the family itself. And fun for everybody. I want everybody to have fun. I like to have fun. And so here are some things to help the day go smoothly and you not stress out completely. First, you want to pick out outfits that are coordinated but not completely matchy. Um, you want to kind of go together but not be just alike. A print is good but you don't want everybody to wear a print. You can always have your photographer, if you just have no idea and you don't know what you want to wear, you can ask your photographer for tips or I will volunteer to go through when I get to your home and help you pick out outfits or if we're meeting on location, you can bring outfits with you and I'll help you choose so you will know what's best on camera. Um, you also definitely want to be comfortable if you're not comfortable or if your kids aren't comfortable, it's going to show in the photos and they're going to fidget or you're going to fidget and then you're not going to like it in the end anyway. Tip number two, it is always good to have snacks on hand. You don't want to choose snacks that are going to show up all in everybody's teeth. So avoid the Oreos, avoid the Cheetos. Um, those are uh, blues, bright purples, you know, stay away from those things, but good ones are animal crackers, Pringles, um, really gummies are always great. Everybody loves a gummy. Anything that your kids will love that aren't neon will be great snacks to have on hand. You also want to bring waters just in case anybody's thirsty, um, especially in Savannah, it gets real hot real fast. So. You want to make sure that you have something to keep everybody happy and not hangry. <laughs> All right, so tip number three. I like to have fun while we're doing photos and I want the kids to have fun doing photos and the family to have fun all together. Um, so anything that you can do as the parent that you know will make your kids laugh and will make them have fun, even if it feels really silly while you're doing it, do it anyway. It's great for photos. Your kids will love it and they'll have fun doing it. And it's fun for the family when you're doing the fun stuff you do at home, like maybe you dance or maybe you do funny dances around to make your kids laugh. Um, just go for it. It'll look great in pictures and don't feel silly while you're doing that. It looks good. Also, I bring things like bubbles, um, some sort of entertainment for your kids. If your kids, if you have a kid that loves tractors or loves balls or anything like that, just bring it with you. We can have a little playtime and it's super cute in photos. And again, your kids having fun and they'll relate having photos to having fun and it'll make your life easier in the future. Okay, so my next tip, you, if you have a location in mind and you have somewhere that you really want to shoot, most photographers would be happy to meet you and just ask them if they're familiar with it. If not, and you know you want to shoot there, it's cool. I'm always happy to meet someone wherever they want to shoot. If you don't have any idea where you want to shoot, just ask your photographer for suggestions. They may have some go-to spots or they may have some spots that they've been wanting to try. Conversate with your photographer and let them know kind of what you have in mind or what you think you would like. And y'all can kind of figure it out together and where would be the best location to shoot. My last 
tip is to make sure your kids know that they're going to get a reward at the end. It never hurts to bribe. People get really embarrassed, like, oh my gosh, I bribed my kids. No, it's the best thing you can do for photo day. Just let them know that they're going to get a reward at the end, and we're going to do a good job, we're going to be sweet, we're going to smile, and then when we're done, you get a treat. And everybody's happy, and again, it relates back to they're going to have fun at photos, they're going to get a treat for doing photos, so moving forward, when you try to do photos in the future, it won't be a nightmare. Those are my tips. You can't go wrong with them, um, and they'll hopefully make your life easier. I know they've made my life easier. <laughs> awesome, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna put some pictures that Sunny did at the end of this video so you can see how our family photos turned out. If you're in the Savannah, Georgia area and you're looking for a photographer, Sunny's your girl. She just moved here recently and she is so amazing. She actually did Kaysen's newborn pictures. We drove to her when Kaysen was born just so she could do her his newborn pictures. And they were amazing. I'm super excited about how these turned out. So if you need her, I'll leave her Instagram handle down in the description box. And then of course I'll leave her email in case you want to contact her and get your photo session set up. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>